Hello, thank you for joining me. Uh, this video is going to be installing an annotation symbol called the North Arrow. North Arrow is uh, typical of uh, some other symbols that we put into sheet plans in order to uh, allow people who are reading our plans to better navigate through our plans and uh, read them a little bit better. North Arrow is good, so uh, when they're uh, setting up their survey instruments, they need to know approximately when uh, where North is on the plan so they can properly lay out the you know the site work on the on the property. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, the way you find or where you find the, the North Arrow, it's a generic uh, Revit symbol that we're going to install into our ground uh, floor plan that you see here on the project we've been working on. And um, we're going to be installing that as a generic symbol. And then we're going to modify it a little bit just to add a little bit more functionality and readability to it. The way you find it is on the annotate tab on the ribbon. Go all the way over to this symbol on the right, which is called symbol. And there's a couple different options in there. Uh, if you don't have anything loaded yet, you yes, you do want to load those. So you go to dialog box, and what you want to look for is uh, inside this annotation folder is the North Arrow. So scroll down. There's a couple different options you have. You have North Arrow 1 and North Arrow 2, and I have North Arrow 3, which is going to be one that we're going to be modifying right now and uh, changing. So your choices are probably going to be North Arrow 1 and North Arrow 2. North Arrow 1 is a little bit more descriptive. Actually, it looks like an arrow. So let's go ahead and choose that. So we're going to open. What we have is a family, or yeah, we have a family that's going to be inserted into our project. We're going to put it on the in the right-hand corner of our building down here. So just go ahead and click it in that location. Do escape a couple times because we only want one north arrow. Now let's go ahead and click in this and make a modification to it. If we right-click and go to Edit Family, it opens up a Revit family, and there's our north arrow. And we're going to add some text. So we'll go to the ribbon, go to the text uh, toolbar. Drag that out. We're going to use a generic uh, text no text for now. And just type in north. Make sure your cap locks are on. And enter. What we want to do is make this a little bit smaller. I believe it's a quarter inch text, so we're going to make that one eighth inch text instead. So we're going to go to edit type, and just like we do with a lot of uh, families that we edit in, uh, in Revit, we're going to make a duplicate of it so we don't over overwrite the initial. And to make it a little bit more descriptive in our title, we're going to call that uh, text note 1 8 kind of a notation for eighth of an inch, and then OK. And now we want to change the text size. The text size was a quarter of an inch. If we just type in eight, one divided by eight in there, it assumes inches in this application. So we're going to go to Apply. And now it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more readable. And if you wanted to, you can move that around. You can grab the, you know, the corner there where it says Move. Or you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard. And the increments of moving are a little bit smaller with the arrow keys, so you might find that a little bit more helpful. And if you want to change things, you want to change some more items in here, maybe make some lines a little bit more thick, you can do that. Subcategory up here on the, on the ribbon, go from thin lines to wide lines. Might make it a little bit more readable. And then when we're all done, we're going to go ahead and load that into our project. But first, I think we're going to go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and do a save as. We're going to save it as a family. And I'm going to call this my North Arrow 3. And it's going to overwrite uh, what's already in there, which is okay, but for you it's going to be brand new. So we're going to go to Yes, load that into our family, and uh, just like with other families being loaded, it gives us an opportunity to drop it in there. Escape a couple times, so we don't want to put in too many arrows in there, just one would do. And we're about ready to go. Now, True North is never, or hardly ever, uh, just uh, straight up in the paper. Sometimes it does get rotated. So if you need to rotate it, go to the Rotate tool and the Modify tab. Pick a point, usually in the middle of that uh, circle will go, and you can rotate that in the manner you see fit. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.